What is up everybody? This is All Things Entertaining here, bringing you with a brand new video. And today, we have a 49 card, third place Sword Soul Tenyi decklist out of the New Zealand Regionals. And we have quite the deck list here. We're going to be going over each individual card and seeing what makes this deck so powerful. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the card list. We have 3 Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, 3 DD Crow, 3 Incredible Ecclesia of the Virtuous, we have 2 Nibiru the Primal Being, we have 3 Sword Soul of Moe, 2 Sword Soul of Taya, 3 Sword Soul Strategist Long 1, 3 uh, three Tenny Spirit, 3 Tenny Spirit Adhara, 3 Tenny Spirit Ashuna, 1 Tenny Spirit Shathana, 3 Tenny Spirit Mashuda, and for the spells, we have 1 Call by the Grave, 3 Dark Ruler No More, 3 Heavenly Dragon Circle, 2 Pod of Desires, 3 Super Polymerization, 3 Sword Soul Emergence, 1 Sword Soul Sacred Summit, and for the 4 traps, we have 3 Infinite Impermanence and 1 Sword Soul Blackout. As for the stat deck, we have 1 Dynamus of Pangratops, the 3rd Nibiru, the Primal Being, 1 Harpy's Feather Duster, 3 Lightning Storm, 3 Anti Spell Fragrance, 3 Dimensional Barrier, and 3 Rivalry of Warlords. We have one Garur, the Wings of Resonant Life, one Fred of Plant, Dragon's Napalia, one Baron de Fleur, two Boxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing, one Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi, two Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Chow, one Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign along one, one Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign of Cheng Ying, one Yazi, the Evil of the Yang Zing, three Monk of the Ten Yi, and one Shaman of the Ten Yi. So, for the most part, this is just your standard run-of-the-mill Sword Soul list, but it's actually pretty interesting because Sword Soul has not had the greatest of win streaks as of recently, considering the fact that we are in a meta that kind of almost counters it verbatim. Uh, for the most part, with a Sprite and Tier Element just being able to play on their turn, remove threats immediately as soon as they happen. But this mid list managed to do it by playing some powerful board breakers such as the Dark Ruler and War, the Super Polymerizations, and as well as Nibiru's in the main deck for the Tarala mid lists, as well as like the copious other amounts of decks that are still especially something more than five cards except Sprite. Um, the hand trap lineup is pretty spectacular for Ashes and DD Crows, really good. We have the third Nibiru just because we're playing against a uh, Tarala mid list, so we can hedge our bets a bit. And the floodgates are actually really good. Uh, anti spot fragrance are really good against Sprite and Tor Element. Uh, Dimensional Bear are really good against Tor Element and Branded, uh, Branded decks. Rivalry really good against uh, really good really good really good against multiple type decks like really good against uh, multiple type decks like Tor Element, which you play Warrior, Aqua type monsters, and a couple of other engines such as like Sprite and uh, Dangerous, which are uh, interwoven with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is centered right here. We have the Garuru for just generically good spot removal. We have the uh, Dracos Topalia just to remove uh, stuff like Kid Kalos or Kaleido Heart from the field. Um, and we have like Baron de Flor, just a really good negate all around. Probably the best level 10 monster ever printed, ever. Uh, I don't think there's ever been anything close to this. Um, really insane card. And we just have a your standard garden variety uh, package. We have the you know the three Moe's, the two Tatayas, the the long wands. We have the Adharas, uh, Ashunas, Sustanas, and Bashudas. Just a really overall really cool deck list overall. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about this deck list. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been All Things Entertaining. Signing.